Stitch number seven is a built-in satin stitch. Now let me show you a couple things that can truly make this a lot easier. So first off, look what foot it tells you to put on, 2A. So 2A is without the IDT, so make sure that that has been disengaged. And the reason for this foot, for it to be chosen, is because it has that nice wide cutout behind the needle where all those thick stitches will go. Now one thing I do notice about this stitch is it's a little wide for me as it is preset. So I could, I usually use this more in the three to four millimeter wide settings here. Now, if the stitch does need to be a little bit closer together, we can shorten the stitch length and bring, like especially if you're using a, a thinner thread, you can make that to be more filled in. So it just depends on which thread you're using. Adjust that to be as, um, as dense as you'd want it to be. Notice the tension is reduced, so we get that nice pretty top thread pulled to the back. The bobbin thread will nicely keep it hiding back there and make it almost look like a nice raised area. Now, I like to tell you the truth, use an open toe foot when I'm doing satin stitch and that means that that clear part here is not in my way, but there are markings on this foot. When we touch the alt button, we can actually get it to be able to change the you might say logistics of the stitch. So it can be like more right justified and you can follow one of those lines. You can actually put one of the needles right next to one of those lines and you'd have something to follow as you stitch. So that is something nice about this particular machine. And really, when you're ready to start stitching a satin stitch, you're just gonna line up the swing of the needle to be even with the raw edge of the fabric. And don't forget, you do have the tapering feature. So if you go to F1, you can actually go in and set it so it will taper your stitches into a point and you can easily work your way in and out of points a lot easier. So that takes a little bit of skill, but check out our tapering video right here and it will show you how to get in and adjust for different angles for starting and stopping a satin stitch taper.